As a motorsports reporter and being born and raised in Indianapolis, racing has always been in my blood. I'm a professional racer and car builder, and I've done quite a few car transformations over the years. And with our experiences and friends in the automotive industry, Colette and I have teamed up to combine our love for cars with our desire to make a difference. Helping Hands Garage is all about giving back to deserving families who have a project that's seen better days. We can be together as a family, enjoy this moment. So join us as we roll up our sleeves and drive dreams forward at Helping Hands Garage. Now, it definitely makes sense that when your child is sick, your whole world stops. And unfortunately, that has happened one too many times for the Heinz family. I'm Katie Osborne. And I'm Colette Davis. And this is Helping Hands Garage. Now, the reason this 2021 Jeep Wrangler is in the shop has nothing to do with what's wrong with it and everything to do with the daily struggles that Alan, Diana, and Gabriella face. Now, she has a rare condition called Chiari malformation, which affects her brain and spinal cord and has undergone 15 brain surgeries in the past six years. So as you can imagine, with their medical bills and time spent in the hospital, this family hasn't had the extra time to modify their Jeep at all. So it looks the exact same as it did when Alan bought it over a year ago. Now, Colette, that's where we come in. With the support of our Helping Hands team, we're gonna revamp this vehicle into something that brings them a little bit of joy and a little bit of an adventure. But first, let's go ahead and meet the family. We're joined by Alan and Diana and the family just kind of having a conversation, diving into the background of what brought them not only here to Helping Hands Garage, but with Gabby having her be a part of this process. What is that like for you? Definitely meaningful, very mm -hmm. meaningful. Just watch her. It just takes away from our everyday life situation. And for you, you know, this is that daddy-daughter bonding experience that you guys are getting a chance to do in the sense where this will bring you guys kind of closer. It's really hard to find things that we can do together, um, to bond, to grow closer together. So this is just something that's gonna help that process become stronger. Giving us some of that background and diving in a little bit more into details, what has Gabby really been dealing with? Developmental delays, mm -hmm. right? Um, but it wasn't until she was maybe two, three years old, we started seeing doctors and she had to go through some testings and that's when I found out that she had Chiari malformation. Your brain is too large for your skull um, and it herniates into your spinal cord. And because of that, she had to go through a decompression surgery. Today, I look at it as an amazing process and journey because we've walked such a hard journey with her. Right now, we're battling with having to make the decision for a neck surgery. Mm -hmm. And that is that is very tough for us to do. Mm -hmm. The first decompression surgery, she was in the hospital for three months, underwent eight, nine different brain surgeries in those three months. To just um, alleviate. To, to just delete, yeah. That. She, you know, multiple shunt failures. Mm -hmm. To be able to do something as a family and pursue this, this passion and not have to worry about it. It, it provides a, a, a much needed break yeah. for our family. and. Um, like you said, a, a little glimmer of hope that we can still do stuff. Yeah. And, you know, we have a lot of plans with this vehicle, this Jeep, after it's done. So <laughs> it'll, it'll be fun. Wait, did you say plans? <laughs> what, what, what are the, some of those adventurous plans we um, might be thinking well, about? Well, originally, <laughs> when I found that I was going to, they are going to do the my Jeep, uh -huh. um, I, I was like, okay, I'm never going to take this thing off road. I don't yeah. want to get it muddy. I don't want to get it scratched up, you know, but now really? it's okay hitting a few Jeep trails, yeah, off road trails with my daughter and my, with my wife. I think will be fun. And I think to, to see that, that happiness on her face will definitely, you know, be a positive. It's, it's he good. deserves that, mm -hmm. okay, because he walks side to side with me and um, there's not a moment where I can say that Gabby has been through one of her situations where her daddy wasn't there. Mm -hmm. We're firm believers of let's find the light in the storm. That's why I get my joy, just knowing that he's gonna be enjoying a car that we all kind of work together as a family and Gabby was part of it. What you've experienced in your life now, you're actually helping making a difference for other people. I work for Champions for Children in one of their programs called Parents as Teachers and I particularly see that a lot of my families that I have in my caseload are families that have mm -hmm. some kind of challenges within their development or medical conditions. Something that I always take home with me knowing, okay, I was able to help mm -hmm. one more family that was in that special need. 
So as you can tell, this is a mostly stock 2021 Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, and that's when, when I kind of walked in here today, I thought, huh, what exactly we're going to do to this thing? Well, it's mostly stock except for a couple aftermarket upgrades being these lights here and the side steps, and that's it. Okay. So Alan did make a wish list. What's on it? And one of his most important things, actually two of them, would be a lift kit. Okay. And I can see how that would help. You know, it's a Jeep. Right. You got to have the lift kit. So he wants a lift kit that's not too high, so it's still easy for Gabby to in and out. That makes sense. But just enough to give it that aggressive look. And the second thing was a bigger wheel and tire combo. Also makes sense. Those go hand in hand. They really do. And I feel like with, with Jeeps, there's so much that you can do to customize these things. Mm -hmm. So if we can, we also want to throw a few more things onto his wish list. If you will. With the customized front bumper, give it a more aggressive look. Yep. And maybe some tube doors for when they go off roading. But a lot of work has to be done before that. Yes. And <laughs> speaking of all the work that we need to do, I'm going to go meet our helping hands so we can get started. All right. You got it, girl. <laughs> We've assembled an amazing group of friends and family to help get this build complete. Now, I want to first introduce you to two of our very special helping hands, which is Gabby herself Hello. and her best friend, Lisa. Thank Hi. you for coming. Are you guys excited? Yep. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about the Jeep? The ducks. The ducks? Can you imagine how many more you're gonna get when the makeover is complete? Really? You're gonna get so many ducks. Yay! <laughs> and Eddie, thank you for being here as well. Eddie is Lisa's dad, and you've actually known Gabby since she was born, right? We have, yes, ma'am. Yeah, they, Lisa and Gabby have played together when, since they were little tiny girls. So I know you are into cars and build them yourself. Yes, so you want to tell us a little bit about your VW bus project that you just finished up? So we have a 1966 uh, Volkswagen Transporter or a bus that we go out camping and have fun and go to the beach and all that good stuff. So I love that that bus for you is definitely meaningful for your family, right? Because you get oh, to absolutely. spend time with each other. And I'm really excited that we are going to be able to help Gabby and her family, sort of, or get that out of their Jeep. Spend time together, go off-roading and have fun. Yeah. And of course, get all the ducks, yep. right? Yeah. As many ducks as we can. <laughs> so you ready to get started? Ready. All right, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out that Gabby loves the toy ducks that Jeep owners share with other Jeep owners. Now the team starts tearing down the front suspension and Colette and the Helping Hands crew work on getting out that old shocks and factory springs so they can install the new lift. Oh, she yeah. got it. Yeah, go up. There you go. So one of the fastest ways to transform the look of a Jeep is of course with a lift kit and some big wheels and tires. So in front of us, we have a two and a half inch lift kit and this was the perfect amount where it's still gonna be easy for Gabby to get in and out of the Jeep. And it's also going to allow us to fit our 35 inch tires that we know you really wanted on this thing. You can see our old spring that we just took off the car right here. And here is our new one. See how much taller this one is? Yeah! It's taller, it's shinier, but and it's gonna give us that lift that we're looking for. Why is it so tall? It's gonna raise the Jeep. It's gonna make your Jeep a lot higher. We can put the bigger tires in there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Are you ready to install this? Ready! All right, here you go. You got it. Good shot. Good shot. I'm trying. Oh, there you perfect. Go. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Yeah. It's in there. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Push it through there. Can you reach that? Gabby and the team have new front springs and shocks in place. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And next, they can move to the rear suspension to get the rear done. Hi, it. Thank you. the team have definitely been diving into the front. You can see right now we've got the shocks, we've got the springs all done, sway bar, uh, end links are being put in right now and that is where you and I get a chance to have a conversation because early 
earlier in the day, we were talking a lot about the joy that you are going to see having both little sets of hands and big sets of hands working together on this project. So now kind of taking a step back to see it's all coming together, what your vision absolutely, was. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just, it's been amazing just to kind of watch backstage and watch all these little hands and big hands <laughs> just job. being so involved and, and not even without asking, just jumping in and doing things. As much as a Jeep Wrangler is gonna bring your husband joy to be in the driver's seat, the experience to see your husband and Gabby kind of together doing this project you mentioned the little hands why is this such a critical moment in your life to see this all kind of come together just her happiness you know it's it's a moment where she can just be a child mm -hmm. it's a moment where we can be together as a family leaving what we have outside the store and just worry and, and enjoy this moment not have to worry about what's going on out there the people that have always been there mm -hmm. are the ones that are here mm -hmm. my parents are here Jack Lisa Julie Eddie they've they've walked this journey with us from day one Lisa was that little girl who at one point when Gabby didn't want to get up from the bed um, after a surgery Lisa came to the hospital and she's like okay Gabby we gotta get up let's go and take a walk so and you said they've known each other since they were they, six months yeah, old. Yeah, so they've known each other since they were babies. So it's it's been amazing to watch that relationship and friendship grow as they're growing together. So just having them here and my parents, it's just, it's amazing. Well, of course, all of the helping hands. We don't know how many there are, but there's some small ones and there's some big ones, Eddie. Um, they're moving back to the rear to just kind of dive in a little bit deeper. I mean, coming into today, did you expect this, first and foremost? Is this what you actually thought was going to happen in the Helping Hands garage? Oh, it's been a great experience. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Nothing I've ever, I've never been a part of, but it's excellent to be here with uh, with the family. I know that there's still a few components that you've been dedicated task worker on. What yes, is that? So one of the final components we have here in the rear end is going to be a, uh, a, a bump stop okay. for the new suspension. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are two holes in it for the two bolts that can be in two different configurations. One for the two inch lift that we have on the vehicle. And then this other one, if you want to go for a larger lift, it has uh, other two holes in there as well. So there's a shock that's in it. Mm -hmm. And it is there to ensure that it won't uh, bottom out the shock and blow it out because it can actually um, uh, blow out the end of it. we take a look at the Wrangler here, we can see that the front and rear suspension are in place, which means it is time for these guys. And we got some 35 inch tires this time around because that was on your initial wish list, AJ. Yes, was. This was what you wanted to kind of find that balance between some off-road and on-road performance. Yes, so we found you the TIS TT1 tires from Hercules Tires. Now these have a very aggressive look with very little drone noise on the road. And they're actually fully customizable with two different sidewall designs, which is pretty cool depending on which way you mount them. So All this right. is pretty awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so how does that make you feel? What you thinking about that? Oh, that definitely makes me smile. Um, <laughs> you said you have a, a perma smile. I have a perma grin. <laughs> a perma grin. Um, <laughs> and they definitely make me want to do some more off-roading now. So okay. Which one do you I, think? You have two different gonna, options I here. the more aggressive side. Yeah, that's what we would think definitely. too. You gotta do it. And of course you can't have brand spanking new tires without some wheels to go along with it. And you haven't seen these wheels no, yet, have, have you? Nope. So drum roll. Drum roll please. please. All right, ready? ready? Three, two, one. This is what's going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> so these are brand new Gear Off-Road wow. 761 wheels. They're 20 inches made from high strength aluminum alloy, which means they are definitely off-road capable and will not rust on you over time. Uh, I didn't want to go off-roading, but now I don't think I will anymore. You still want to go off-roading. Yeah, I probably will, but <laughs> they look right. awesome. What do you say we mount these up and get them on the Jeep? I agree. The Heinz family has no trouble getting these new wheels and Hercules tires installed on the Jeep. And next, the Helping Hands team can work on making this Jeep more off-road capable with a big front bumper. Welcome back to Helping Hands Garage. We just finished putting on our big wheel and tire combo. So now the Jeep is looking a lot more aggressive from the side 
but now the front needs a little bit of a facelift. Face exactly. So we have our brand new full front bumper right here. And this one Ooh. is pretty special because it comes with a 20 inch LED bar. You also have optional LED fog lights Ooh. that you can wire in. So this front bumper actually gives you two options for the fog lights with these plates here. So you can either run the factory fog lights that are already on the Jeep or you can use this plate and then use our new upgraded two inch LED fog lights. Well, I think with all the upgrades we're doing, I think it's a shame to stop there. So let's right. upgrade to the aftermarket brighter fog lights. And you do have an extra switch already in the Jeep yep. waiting for some wiring. So yep. this will be a lot easier. Absolutely. What do you think? Do you like the brighter lights? Yeah. <laughs> You're definitely gonna be off-road capable now. Now, some people may have gotten a little bit of sleep, or maybe not. <laughs> and of course, with this 2021 Jeep Wrangler, there was a lot of work done on it. Of course, we started with the suspension, we did wheels and tires. And we completed our full front facelift on this Jeep with a brand new front bumper that is a lot more aggressive. It comes with the LED bar and even a winch on it. So you are definitely ready for the off-road life. <laughs> but that, that sleep question, <laughs> scale one to 10, what'd you end up with? Three. Okay. All right. so, there's just so much excitement. We're yes, so close to being done. And speaking of being close to being done, this is our next mod for the Jeep. These are brand new tube doors, and they're actually street legal because they come with the mirror attachment. You know, AJ, one of the things that has been an ongoing conversation over the course of this project was we want a little bit of fun, we want a little adventure, but we want some uh, safety and we safety. want performance too out of the whole thing. So these tube doors, how does this resonate with you? Well, I think it's, uh, it's gonna allow us to be able to take the doors off more, finally go to the beach and, and get some fresh air. Um, but most of all, it's just gonna be safety for my daughter and my family. Um, having the doors off, it's, it's a little nerve wracking going down the interstate, watching the road go by 80 miles an hour. And you're so, familiar with that yes, from, your, I am. from your days in the Jeep days, <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. So having this will just you know improve the, the safety factor. I'll have to keep looking back to make sure she's still in the Jeep and just have fun. to be super easy. All it is is these brackets going on to the Jeep right here, and then our doors attach, and we're done. Yeah. Simple, right? Yeah. All right, we got this. Let's finish putting these doors on. Just gonna hold that up for me. Let's bring the, the bottom more towards me. Oh, is it already latched in there? Tube doors are officially completed, and we also threw on this sunshade to protect them from the harsh Florida sun, and that means our Jeep transformation is complete. So after the break, we will give them the keys and see what they think about their new ride. You guys excited? Yeah! <laughs> We're back on Helping Hands Garage, but it's almost time to leave, but before we do that, we have to say, wow, thank you for joining us on Helping Hands Garage. It's been such a pleasure to have the Heinz family, but more importantly, Colette and I have so enjoyed getting to know you guys, getting to know your Jeep as well, of course, in the process. AJ, you and I talked a lot about this kind of big picture, the, the imagery, the dreaming, the dreams you might have, and a few key words that we've kind of said throughout the last couple of days is joy and adventure. How special is this moment to know it's, it's about to happen? It's unbelievable. I don't think it really has sunk in yet that this yeah. has happened. <laughs> Words can't even express how I feel right now. I'm just so appreciative of everybody here on Helping Hands Garage. Um, my friends and family that joined us, um, I can't thank everybody enough. This has been a dream come true of mine for many years, and it's, it's finally coming true. Well, we were happy to help 
up and it was so awesome to meet everyone. I mean, what was it like for you too, seeing your entire family and friends come together for this? Yes, um, I was actually telling AJ yesterday how I had moments backstage just to kind of watch when the kids were there, when my dad was there, when, when Eddie, when Julie, and just watching everybody come together mm -hmm. to put those little pieces for the card. Like, that was just awesome. Yeah. I will say, I think you guys set the record for the most helping <laughs> hands on a single build. So that was amazing. I was like, at one point, I was like, 14, one, two, we're about 14 hands here. Yes. Yes. It's amazing. And what about you, Dabby? Are you excited to get in your yeah. brand new Jeep? Yes. What's your favorite part? What's what now when you look at it, when you're like, the, the doors? doors. doors. <laughs> awesome. Just really, truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you. This really couldn't have come true without everybody here and everything you've done, the effort you put in. And I appreciate it very much and seriously, thank you. Woo, woo, thank woo. You. And is there a name? Um, big boy. Big, big boy. boy. <laughs> 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 Ready to go on our first off roading? All right! Let's go! Yee! You okay back there, chicken? Oh. And yeah, this is tight. 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 This is weird, like with the mount, like the hills on both sides. Wow. This four wheel drive is a beast. It is like, it, it is strong. This has been like a once in a lifetime experience. Yes. Like, this is amazing. Whenever you think of a Jeep, this is what I've always wanted to do. Colette, that was one where I'm quite surprised that we had as many tears as we did. That was a totally wild experience. I, for one, cannot wait to get the post-show <laughs> photos of the off-road adventures that they're going to have. They all seem really, really excited for it. Heinz family, we really do hope we see those photos. <laughs> well, of course, that's another project done here in the Helping Hands garage, and I did a, I did a recount. It was 20. 20, 20 Helping, helping hands. hands. New record. Amazing. Love that.